Hello Best Foods, this is Craig from bestbox.co.uk with another painting tutorial for you in the series for my Carmine Dragon. So in this one I'm going to be painting the wings and also like his um, sort of belly as well. So I'm going for like a sort of a beigey brown colour for this. So before I get into all that, I just want to give a big shout out and a massive thank you for it to everyone on our Patreon. And if you want to know what Patreon is all about, there is a link in the description down below. So yeah, um, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have the Carmine Dragon, and he's got his red flesh areas from before. So if you haven't seen the previous video, um, you can find that on our YouTube page. But yeah, I painted all the red areas. So in this one, I'm going to focus on his wings, also the underside of his tail. I might leave his belly like that, um, but I'll do under his neck and his chest as well. And I'm going to base coat all these areas with Rakaf Flesh. And I thinned it down a little bit, so I'll probably do a couple of thin coats to get a nice smooth finish on this. So we're going to be needing a lot of it. And yeah, just apply it over all these areas. Obviously try not to get it on any of the red areas, but if you keep if you do get some on these bits, then we can go back and do them. I haven't even finished doing this one because I'm going to paint that that bit after, just in the just stay in the same red as the previous video. So I've done a few thin coats of this colour. Looks a bit flat in the light. Uh, we've got a smooth finish as I can. So the next thing to do is just cover it all with some Agrax Earthshade and I'm running low but I might have enough just to stretch over this miniature and I'm going to thin it out slightly as well to have it go a little bit further so this just be a case of just putting it over all these wings and that will really bring out its detail as hopefully you can see already the lights are quite bright But hopefully you can see that. So yeah, just look, it's just going to be a light, a light coat of it. Just make them recesses a little bit darker, and then we can start brightening that up in some areas. And I'm also going to darken it in others, trying to get this little sort of gradient going towards the bottom. But for now, we're going to do this over all the wings and over all the um, chest areas as well. So, you see I've got it under the neck and down here. Now you may decide to have yours all here as well, but I sort of kept it red because I just quite like the look of it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is have sort of a darker gradient going down towards the end of the wings. So I'm only doing this on the wings. You could do it on the belly areas if you so wish, but I'm only doing it on the wings. And I'm going to take more Agrax Earthshade. And I'm going to go start right here and apply, again, diluted mix of Agrax, only slightly diluted, just over this area here. And if you get another brush, you can sort of feather it out, so just get like a slightly damp brush, just feather that, that out, that'll give you a bit of a smoother transition. So do that on all the wings. So you can see already, I'm not sure when I'm out of the, out of the light, it's dark, getting darker towards the tip, but I'm going to keep applying some more, but this time slightly further down, and that's going to bring this gradient towards the tip of the wing. So you can see it's sort of about there where I started. So now I'm going to start from about here. And apply some more, so right around the bottoms of these ones, like so. And you can see it's starting to get sort of darker now towards the bottom. I do apologise, it's hard to keep a lot of this in shot. So I work down from about here. And then with 
the longer parts of the wings. Once this is dry, I'm going to add a couple more coats, whacking my way down. Okay, so I'll just change the angle slightly, just to get more of the wings in. You can see I've got this nice gradient going on, and it gets darker towards the bottom there. I apologise if my lights make it a bit hard to see, but I think you can see that okay. So we're going to dry brush highlights all over the wings, and for this first pass at least, and with a rack of flesh. So if you're not familiar with dry brushing, you basically um, put paint on the brush and then wipe most of it off, and then just lightly go back and forth and then I'll catch all these raised areas. Now this is going to be quite subtle because we only had a thinned out wash over these top areas but as you get further down it'll be slightly more noticeable. So do that over the whole of the wings and also um, under here as well, all the other pieces there. Let's not forget about them. So, next up, you can take a shabty bone. And I'm essentially going to do the same thing, but this time focus them more towards, to get it in shot, focus them to more, more towards the center and the top. So not going all the way down and not going all the way near the, um, I guess you call them veins or something, I don't know, <laughs> the red areas. And again, dry brush and just going along that grain. And just build up slowly and don't go too heavy with it. So next up I'm going to take some Screaming Skull. Um, it does say Screaming Skull somewhere under there. And um, do the same thing again, being even more focused this time towards the middle and not going as far down. And with the belly and the tail, again, just sort of working up more towards the center. like so. And finally we're going to go just a tiny step lighter with some Wraith Bone. I apologise Ham, it's hard to see under these lights what's um, on them labels. And then just very gently just more central parts around the tops like so, so you're not putting a lot on and not in a sort of large area so then you see it it's really building up that gradient, I apologise again these lights are really bright um, for some reason I don't know how much better that is but probably even worse but yeah I, I promise you there is a gradient going up, I should be able to just turn that down a bit so yeah Right way around, and then we have some finished wings. Okay, and here we have the finished wings. So I've sorted out the light issue. So yeah, essentially they have like various settings of brightness on these lamps. So I don't use them on the lightest, and I only just realised that it doesn't seem to be working well on this one. So it only seems to be giving me the brightest setting, even when I turn it down, um, but I fixed it now, I apologise um, throughout the video if it's been a bit too light, but hopefully now you can see the finished result, and in future videos it won't be an issue. I've essentially um, diffused the light. So this is how the Carmine Dragon is looking at the moment, I apologise, can't get it on shot, but so we've got the red areas and the wings. 
So in other videos I'll be working on smaller details for base and of course Elspeth as well. So there's going to be a few of these. But yeah, hopefully this one's been useful. As I've said before, you don't have to use it on this particular miniature, but if you have like these type of wings you want to do, then you can certainly apply this technique to any other miniature that has wings, or even if you just want to sort of replicate this sort of colour on something else, then I hope this has been useful. Again, nice and easy, with just lots of dry brushing, and the end result is certainly worth it. So, um, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.